Hi everybody, so I'm back here in my hotel room here in Mala City and today is my second full day here in uh, Maldives. I arrived yesterday and I did half day exploration upon my arrival. They said, which I think it's true based on experience, to fight the jet lag. Don't lay down on the couch or the bed and snooze trying to get your sleep back. No. So if, if it's safe, especially during daytime, so just bum around town. I did yesterday. It was pretty good. Today I left the room way early, around a quarter, uh, right after the rain. There was a rain last night. I think that's the reason why it's a little bit cooler today. So it's sunny, sky is blue, water is warm, and there is a bit of a wind. And when you go outside, it's not actually humid. Uh, you will get uh, you will get a bit of a sweat, but not the point you feel uh, so sticky. Just like in other uh, countries, like in the Philippines, for instance, during the summer, you know, Tuvalu or in in, 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 in in Kiribati, for instance, at least some of the places that I know, you get this uh, tra really really sweaty feeling right after exploring and you want to go take another set of shower here actually um, not at all at this point of time I don't know exactly when you know during the peak of summer here's a tropical tropical weather so that's why I believe that's why there's some rain so last night there were um, there were some rains it was a bit of a downpour but it's just stopped all of a sudden all right so uh, it was a great, fantastic day today. Uh, walking, I think I covered about a four to five miles of walking. Love walking. So that's uh, and also uh, uh, combining your exercise scale while you're traveling. So it's very important. Good health and traveling and exposing yourself to the, a different culture. So one of the most important attractions that I actually planned to go last night, last night I did the planning last night, but I did a horse there one this morning, is the is a tsunami memorial. So since this island is an island atoll and it's located in the middle of the Indian Ocean, apparently the scientists said, according to uh, some data, that a lot of uh, islands here in my Maldives are way below the sea level are also being affected by the rising the sea water. As a matter of fact, you can see that in Mali. So it's really, really uh, sea level at all. So uh, I saw, I saw it. As a matter of fact, I was exploring grass last night. What are some of the attractions? So that is the tsunami memorial. According to what I read, there was a massive tsunami that took place here in uh, in uh, Maldives back in 2004 so they put up a pretty simple metallic um, memorial that is uh, at the harbor and that is in commemoration of the hundreds of people who suffered their life or life was spared because of the effect of the massive tsunami in here in Maldives back in 2004 and then uh, I walk uh, along uh, the shore uh, there's a nice path walk and as you walk along the shore you see uh, there are several beaches that are artificially constructed. As a matter of fact, it's not actually artificial in the sense that they will uh, dig a hole. So it's just like uh, an impoundment, it's kind of like a lagoon and the water is uh, continued. Is, is uh, continues to the uh, Indian Ocean. So that is saying it's more Pacific and the water is really clear and it looks like a, a swimming pool. There is an access and yesterday it was uh, really stunning to see all uh, local swimming and um, boarding and uh, snorkeling okay, right in the uh, right close to the hotel which is uh, in the greater Mali area. The one that I saw is very close to the harbor, okay, where the where the tsunami memorial is. And I didn't realize that there, there, there was another one. I thought there's only one. I believe there's more. And they are artificial beaches. And there's a lot of people, actually. I saw there are, other, there are senior citizens that are doing some kind of uh, physical therapy. 
I think it's because it's a hot as well as it's salty. Pretty neat, isn't it? I'm very impressed, okay, uh, considering the fact that Maldives, the Maldives is surrounded by the Indian Ocean. So uh, the, they uh, even uh, uh, take advantage, I'm sorry, take advantage of, of what they can get from nature by retrofitting sec certain section of the of the of the shore yeah in order to provide uh, recreation natural recreation for the people and it looks like it's pretty clean because the surroundings are i, di I didn't see any rubbish at all there are several um, recycling containers all over the city and people seems to be very very responsible and here before you go to that artificial beaches you gotta take off your footwear and one more thing that's very important uh, this is an island destination wherein you may not consider to wear your speedos or two pizza swimsuit because it's a it's a disgrace so maldives is a quite conservative nation so this nation is almost 100 percent islam that's why they are conservative and it's neat to see, you know, they're wearing, uh, they're wearing shorts and then there's no topless here. Um, you can't do that here. And practically everybody, although it's warm, tropical, so they're wearing uh, trousers. And seldom is see wearing shorts. If they're wearing shorts, they're not wearing the short shorts. So it's uh, knee length or below the knee length. And of course, they're wearing flip-flops, okay, just like what I did. So just love wearing flip flops. It's a it's a it's a tropical attire anyway. So in addition to that, I went back to the area where I strolled yesterday, and um, I saw it for the second time. Time I'm sorry, time, and it's uh it's much easier because I am kind of getting used to it. I kind of got my bearing. So when so when you when you travel and especially when you are in the place, okay, slowly slowly get your bearing and then um get some kind of sense of direction i still use the google map and uh, one thing is that it's easy you know because here so the uh, the the, uh, the the city center there's a lot of the small alleys but they are pretty neat as a matter of fact and they are cemented concretized and um i didn't see any potholes like, i'm pretty sure there's some but okay now not that i am aware of one thing it's because so this city has tons and tons of motorbikes, motorcycle, and uh, I, when, when I, yesterday when I first saw it, I thought of Hanoi, which is in Vietnam. Uh, that's the um, mode of transportation there. It's an organized chaos. Also, it looks like the counterpart of the bicycle, the hundreds and th thousands of bicycles in Amsterdam. Everywhere you go, you see. Uh, bicycles park in uh, in many places here you can see motorbikes okay, motorcycles okay, everywhere and as I describe it it's kind of like an organized chaos and kind of like you gotta be careful when you're crossing the road so some of them will not follow the traffic signs there's not a lot of traffic signs anyway so but others they will actually stop actually there's one more precise a cyclist while I was a uh, I was on the pedestrian lane and he stopped and he let me go. Isn't that nice? All right, there are still nice people in this world, of course. So there's more good people than reckless, right? So and then uh, I don't went to the grocery once again. So I needed to uh, to get some water I'm running out. Although I am leaving tomorrow because uh, you got to hydrate yourself, especially in a warm climate like this. So I say, as I said, tomorrow I'm leaving the hotel. As a matter of fact, I am leaving this uh, this uh, island. I'm going to another island, which is the uh, Ma Fushi, which is uh, within the Kaafu uh, toll. I'm, 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 I'm not getting used to some of the vocabulary words. As a matter of fact, this morning I was looking at the massive map of the uh, of the of the country. There are so many atolls here. And each atoll has several islands or, or islets and they are named uniquely it's quite a kind of hard to pronounce 
So uh, Maldives is a destination to experience culture as well as the friendliness of the people, especially Mike's gay. With regards to my experience, um, okay, at least all the people that I've met in the grocery at the airport and the owner of the hotel, he even uh, met me at the uh, at the airport and helped me um, with my uh, transport going to the hotel okay, yesterday. All right, so I hope everybody had a great Christmas celebration yesterday, and I did. We did. I did my my early Christmas uh, celebration with my parents and my sister a uh, few days a uh, few days earlier because I'm living. So today the 26. I hope everyone is uh, uh, had had a very um, bountiful uh, celebration yesterday and keep the spirit of Christmas uh, as our. Uh, as we live on a daily basis and we are uh, looking at uh, the, the end of the year the 2020 let's uh, raise that from the calendar <laughs> it's a water under the bridge but we definitely learned a lot it's a history so water under the bridge but we're facing 2000 and, uh, two, uh, 2021 another year hope for the best all right Traveling is not arriving to a new destination. It is a looking at the world in a different perspective. Keep that smile and the world will smile at you. Cheers, be safe, and bye.